Alrighty, we're on uh, uh, Math 3, Section 6.5. This is Part 2 of the practice problems. So instead of just doing the long division and giving me the quotient, now I just ask you for the remainder. So I just wanted you to get practice in this because that's usually how I phrase the multiple choice questions. Because if I give you a bunch of quotients for the answer, especially if it goes in with no remainder, all you have to do is multiply those back to do it. So uh, here takes away that ability so I get to see I force you into doing the division so that's why I'll phrase it on a test probably as hey what's the remainder for this uh, long division problem or this uh, polynomial fraction which we could call rational expression okay so here we go so we have 4y to the fourth blah 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 divided by 2y minus 3 so 4y to the fourth blah 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 divided by 2y minus 3 notice the thing to note here is there's no y to the third term so that's a missing term. So notice I left a blank spot for y to the third. Okay, now here we go. So first term divided by first term, 4y squared divided by 2y. 4 divided by 2 is 2. y to the fourth divided by y is y to the third. So the first term in our quotient is 2y to the third power. Multiply back, that's going to give me 4y to the fourth and negative 6y to the third. Then we change the signs and add. So the y to the fourth cancel out. We got 6y to the third. That's our leading term divided by 2y here. For that leading term, that's 3y squared. So plus 3y squared. Then we multiply that back. 3y squared times 2y is 6y to the third. 3y squared times negative 3 is negative 9y to the squared. We subtract, which means change the signs and add. And we end up with the y to the thirds cancel, 9y squared minus 5y squared is 4y squared. So leading term, 4y squared divided by leading term there, 2y, that gives me 2y. So there's the third term in our quotient, 2y. Multiply back, 2y times 2y is 4y squared, 2y times negative 3 is negative 6y. We subtract, change the signs and add. So the y squareds cancel, 6y minus 8y is negative 2y. So leading term divided by leading term, negative 2y divided by 2y. So that's going to be negative 1. Multiply back, negative 1 times 2y is 2y. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. We subtract, change the signs and add, which means the 2y's cancel. 3 and negative 3, those are opposites. They cancel as well. So the remainder is 0. So there's my answer, because the question is, What's the remainder when I do the indicated division? So if it goes in evenly, the remainder's zero. I think about half the problems on your practice sheet have a remainder of zero. So anyways, that's maybe kind of a hint. Other than that, it's time for you to practice this on your own. Yeah, baby, I know you're excited to get started. Bye.